what are we looking at here today in the rain? Yeah, welcome to Northwest Pennsylvania. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is our 1973 Travco Model 270, uh, and I've converted a Cummins diesel or swapped a Cummins diesel into it. And uh, howdy to all the folks out there on the Travco forum. They kind of asked me to make a video of it so they could see it, what it was like inside and running and all that jazz. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, yeah, try not to get too wet. All right, so we're going to run through the Travco some shots to the outside, go through the interior, show them the motor, and then we'll let you talk about your conversion and how you did it. Okay, sounds good. Alright, up there you have the uh, cockpit and uh, I swapped the seats out. They're from a uh, Dodge Caravan. A lot more comfortable. We got the dual armrests and uh, just a much better driving position. And the old seats were awfully bouncy. These ones are much more comfortable to ride in. We just spent 6,400 miles in it this summer, so uh, going cross country. So it was nice to have those seats. Wow, where'd you go on vacation? Uh, we went and made a big loop. We left here, Pennsylvania, and went uh, on the southern route, basically Route 40, across the southern part of the United States, clear out to the Grand Canyon and Yellowstone and uh, Bryson Zion Canyons, and then back on the northern route across 90 and back home. So it was one giant loop. What kind of fuel mileage did you get with the diesel in this? Uh, I started out with the big block 440 at five and a half miles to the gallon. Ooh. And, uh, once the diesel conversion was in and running good, uh, out on the highway it gets about 15 miles to the gallon. All right, can we see the Cummins diesel that you put in here? Sure can. Now, how hard was the conversion to put this in? Actually, quite a bit easier than I thought it would be. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't without its pratfalls, but uh, that motor is out of a 92 Dodge first generation diesel. And uh, essentially, the uh, there was no motor mount fabrication involved. I just left the uh, frame side of the big block mounts on there and notched the slots that were in the mounts a little bit deeper. And that Cummins literally settled right down in the factory mounts. Hmm. Now what uh, type of transmission modification did you have to do? I decided to go with a Allison, it's called an AT545, it's a four speed non-overdrive transmission out of a school bus that was behind a Cummins. And I put that in there, I did have to make mounts for that, but it was still nice because it uh, maintained the drum emergency brake like these Travcos had from the factory on the Dodge tranny. And um, that was one of the more difficult parts of the job. but. It was definitely worth it in the end. I have a very solid unit this way. Okay. Well, why don't you take us through the rest of it? All right, so you kind of saw the dinette here. Of course, the dinette turns into a, a uh, they call it a double bed, but it's a single bed. Um, and then you uh, drop the table, take the table out of the way, and the benches fold out into the, the bed. We added this cabinet on the opposite side of the dinette. Uh, I think there was originally some type of a cabinet there. I've seen pictures of them, but my father-in-law was kind enough to build this for us and we just painted it to match everything else and it turned out pretty good. We put a charging station up on top of it where you could, in the vintage motorhome, charge all your modern stuff, your iPad and your iPod and all that, your cameras and all that jazz. So uh, those cabinets up above are the original cabinets. And we, my wife actually, my wife and daughter painted uh, the cabinets, they chose the color scheme and then they found these vintage postcards online and printed them out. Uh, a lot of the places we went on our trip actually and then uh, decoupage those on to the paint. So it's kind of a fun part of the decoration. Cool. Is this the charging unit here you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, it does regular 12 volt outlet and then it's got USB on the other side. Ooh. So you can charge pretty much anything you want. Yeah, that's a nice update. Mm -hmm. All right, and what do we have for a kitchen? 
Uh, the ki kitchen is the regular Travco unit, and uh, we've got the four burner stove and the double bowl sink. Uh, worked quite well on our trip. We added the microwave along the way. That's just a regular 110 microwave. And uh, behind you is the refrigerator and the. Uh, is the refrigerator also Cummins powered? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Propane or electric. But uh, it is a newer unit, uh, fits in there nicely and uh, works out pretty well. So. Adequate storage for your vacation trip this summer? Yeah, just that and a cooler. And we, you know, we stopped at the grocery store about every two days. So. All right. Now I assume there's a bathroom on this rig. Yep, on the right there. That's pretty much stock Travco fare as well. Other than uh, we did put a new toilet in. Uh, we weren't crazy about the uh, composting toilet that uh, came in the unit. A lot of people really like those, but it just wasn't our thing. So uh, I found this on eBay actually and got that installed and uh, worked really well. All right. Is this also double as a shower in here? It does. It's what they call a wet bath. Okay. And you pull a curtain around and, and the bathroom actually becomes a shower. Oh, I see. I see the drain in front of the toilet now. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the master bedroom, I would assume. Master bedroom. Yeah, we decided to put a queen bed back there because my wife and I are both tall and wanted the extra space. And, and uh, that was quite the feat if you could have been a fly on the wall watching us get that queen mattress back in there. But we didn't <laughs> manage it and finally got it in there. So. Comfortable to sleep in? It's very comfortable, yep. My wife made the blinds that are uh, hanging there. And I can, uh, can't really show you. Well, maybe I can on this one. Just pull this chain and the blinds drop down. Gives you some nice privacy and she doubled fabric up so it wouldn't let a lot of light in. Nice. Sleep in a rest stop or somewhere with a lot of light, you can block it out. Right. And the other thing we did, I'll open this cabinet up. These are both also very standard Travco, tall um, armoires, I guess you'd call them. And we decided to add shelves in on both sides. So we just take these bins inside, put our clothes in them and bring them back out and slide them on the shelves and it works out quite well. On the other side, we did the same thing, but we just use it as a pantry and then this side's for clothing. Awesome, a little ingenuity. Yeah. All right, well, is there anything you'd like to add before you take us for a ride? I think that's about all. I'm sure I'll get some comments about things they would have liked to have seen, but, but uh, I think we're good. All right, YouTube, let's go for a ride. Leave any comments below with what you're thinking so far.